if you want to eat a frog, eat it first thing in the morning. This is a famous quote said by Mark Twain, the guy behind Huckleberry Finn, and one of the greatest humorers America has ever produced. Like th that was literally the title of the band. And today I'm going to tell you why I eat a frog every single day, what are its health benefits, and why you should eat a frog the first thing in the morning, every single day. capture it all. This is a patang which I try to fly in Sankrant. Hi! So eating the frog does not actually mean to actually go ahead, capture a frog and eat it. It basically translates to doing the hardest part of your job the first thing in the morning. Eating a frog as you can imagine might be pretty difficult but if you do it first thing in the morning you won't have to think about it anytime in the day. So what is your frog? My frog is question marks because I need to do question marks every single day and that is the hardest part of my life. Your frog could be something like reading some chapters from the book, doing physics or even you know taking a shower for that matter. The key here my friends is every single day and the first thing in the morning. Before we eat the frog though I need to eat something myself. Let's get some breakfast. Hello, if you're new here, hi, my name is Anil. I'm a third year MBA student at GMC Nagpur, soon to be a fourth year MBA student, that is if I pass my exams coming up in the next months, of course. So, if you're new here, please consider subscribing because it would mean a lot and I guarantee to make awesome videos for you guys. Thirteen. I've already got marrow open, and the reason why I'm doing it is because I have got the streak going on, uh, sort of like a marathon. And today it is zero, so I have to complete five modules today. Too. Like I said before, consistency is the main thing that you want to aim for doing anything in life. Here, as you can see, I've got five question marks every single day. That was my target, in fact, even before the new year. And I've been doing it. So every single day that I do a new question bank, it gives me a lot of knowledge and gives me a lot of practical applicability of what I've read. Secondly, all the days that which I work, it boosts me to work the next day as well. I feel like if I don't solve the question bank today, all my effort for the previous days is going to waste. So in this way, I can psychologically trick my brain into studying a lot more and also being excited for the subject. In the past three weeks, I have tried to cover the question marks which are remaining for first year as well as second year and doing some part of third year. However, in the next two three weeks, I'm going to finish the entire question mark for third year. I know I've not been very consistent with question mark before, but with this, I'm sure I will definitely be more consistent. It's 904 and the frog has been eaten. Now I'm free for the entire day. So my exams are coming up next month and these are the biggest exams of the year. Preparing for exams is a factor of hard work and smart work. Sometimes you have to cram up the facts and sometimes learn the concepts. And one of the ways I first learned them was by watching videos of Ali Abdal on YouTube. But as all of the things can't be covered in one video, I found this amazing platform called Skillshare. I took the class on Skillshare on how to study for exams using an evidence-based masterclass by Ali. And the class goes over the essay memorization framework, which is by far the most useful thing if you're preparing for a theory exam like me. The class also covers powerful tools like the flashcards and Anki and how to use them like a pro. After watching the class and implementing the things which Ali talked about in his video, my life improved a lot and I saved a lot of time and effort. So guys, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes from industry experts and leaders of their fields on almost any skill that you want to learn, personal development or in this case, how to study effectively and smash your exams. I've been a member of Skillshare for a long time and I've watched many classes from MKBHD as well as Ali and I have applied all of those principles in my life and they have never ever disappointed me. The best part is that Skillshare is a completely ad-free platform and it offers thousands of different classes which you can take. Skillshare's annual subscription is quite affordable with less than 2000 rupees per year which translates to around 166 rupees per month which is probably less than your last Swiggy order. And in this you get complete access to their entire library of beautiful classes. And a surprise for you guys, Skillshare partnered up with me and using my customized link in the description, the first thousand people to use that link will get one month free trial of Skillshare where you can explore all of these classes we have just talked about, which will boost your quality of life and in this case, the grades in your exam. Thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this segment. So I got the booster dose yesterday. It's been given to I think healthcare workers only in India. So from yesterday, I've been feeling a bit of myalgia, a bit of fever, but at this point in India, who isn't? And that's why I'm just gonna take some time out to bask in the sun and get warmed up. Oh, 
So this is my current Angi setup. As you can see in the heat map, I haven't studied a single card. But there's a first step for everything, and I'm going to start Angi today. And uh, I'm going to try to finish uh, at least 30 days of me trying to solve Angi. The questions that I'm going to be solving today are of thermology, and they are from the deck of USMLE. So as you can see, I haven't studied a single card this year, but I studied a lot of cards last year and it wasn't a perfect streak, but at least I was doing something with the Anki part. And the reason is it really helped me out in microbiology, pharmacology, because those were the things which were very fact based. And I felt like memorizing those could really be difficult. But using Anki, using the USMLE deck, I, you know, got an edge over it and in the end scored a distinction in both of these subjects. So if you're a second year student, I highly recommend at least doing the part from the sketchy deck. It will be awesome. <music> Here's a fun little thing, I uploaded a Mumbai vlog yesterday and we've got a pretty good hook for that part and what happens is that whenever you're watching a video you tend to leave it. So there's this matrix called as the audience retention which sees at what point how many people who actually click the video are watching. So let's say after 5 minutes only 50% of people are watching. So that would be like a 50% audience retention at 5 minutes. So the hook is so good that we actually crossed 100% audience retention for the first time. Right, so as you can see 103% audience retention. How cool is that? How do you get 103%? So basically people go in reverse and watch that video over and over again. So that's how you get an audience retention, which is 103%. So if you've watched the older videos, you probably know that I want to start OBGY this month, but unfortunately my exams got postponed. So I instead revised all the different short subjects which I had already done in 2020 and 2021. And now it's time for me to actually start the obstetrics part. And uh, Sakshi Arora ma'am is teaching on marrow. So I'm just gonna watch like three or four lectures right now. Maybe we'll do like a couple of more in the evening. So without further ado, let's go and watch obstetrics. I'm very excited for this. Hi students, welcome to Maro edition five of obstetrics. And as you can see, I've started obstetrics pretty late because I spent the past few weeks revising the short subjects which I've already done. And let me tell you, short subjects are the ones which I tend to forget the most. So something like radiology, psychiatry, all of these are very volatile, at least to me. So I spent a good time revising it. Sooner or later, I will though. But my target is to actually end uh, this ops kiny part in at least one month. In that way, I could, you know, have at least completed two subjects for final year, which will be a huge thing for me. The lecture that I was watching over here was gametogenesis. It basically talks about how the sperms and the ugonia are formed in the males and the females respectively. Apart from that, the second lecture which I watched was for fertilization. Alright, so the obstetrics, I've got two lectures done. Uh, I mean, honestly, I like the subject. The initial part actually reminds me of embryology, which I studied in first year MBBS. But now it's two and I need to get a shower done. So, so far, we have done five question marks. We've done Anki, we've watched two lectures. And now we're going to take a break. We're going to chill out for like three or four hours and then go get back to studies once again. That all starts with the shower and then my lunch. All right, so a true story over here. I deleted Minecraft around three and a half weeks ago. And I've been more productive in this month than I've been in the last two months. And if you've been a long time follower of the channel, you know that I've been a Minecraft pro player for around one year. I've mentioned it in several of my videos, but now it has finally ended. The reason is, it was a distraction to me. My goal was not to become the best Minecraft player in the world. My goal is to become the best doctor in the world. So what I did, I just had my willpower, took it and removed it, just like that. I get a lot of messages asking me, how do you stay productive? How do you you get not get distracted and the simple answer is if you have the willpower to remove anything that is distracting you you will never ever fail because the only roadblock to your success might be your distraction because always remember distractions my friends are very very temporary but your achievement is always permanent so make sure that you work on your achievement rather than working on your distractions all right with that serious talk done i'm gonna watch one episode from a series that i've been following on netflix before actually going to Netflix, I spent some time reading some emails and replying to the comments that you guys have left on my videos. By the way, I read almost all the comments that you guys leave and they genuinely do make my day. If you want to get in touch and talk with me personally, you can always follow me on Instagram where I post a lot more frequently and you get real time updates. Later. I hope that you're really enjoying this video because we put a lot of effort into making every single one of these. That's why I upload only once a week. I also make sure that none of your time gets wasted. If you are enjoying the videos, please consider dropping a like because it genuinely makes my day. And consider subscribing because I genuinely try to make videos that will definitely add value to your life. Good morning, everyone. I just woke up after a three hour long nap in the afternoon. I never sleep, but today I was feeling like it. So I slept. Anyways, now I'm back. It's 7.30 right now. I'm enjoying the rooftop life of Nagpur and truly amazing because I can see a lot of stars right now. So what we have got left is gynecology. We have to watch two lectures and after that, we are basically done. All right, so as you know, in one year, I've got my next examination coming up and I want to start a series on the YouTube channel, something like the Study With Me series, but it's going to be termed something on the grounds of next preparation in which every single month I will update you on what I've studied, what subjects I've completed, 
what is my uh, progress on marrow etc so if you are interested study with me videos show you just a tiny section of what i have been preparing and adding this series the next prep series every single month one episode will give you a lot more knowledge as to what the subjects of the mbbs are and how much effort it takes to read for next well if you do think this is a good idea please let me know down below in the comments by saying that hey anuj it's a good idea you should definitely start the series and i definitely will make the first episode as soon as possible because everybody who's watching this is sort of curious to know what next is and how i'm preparing for it oxygen wanted to say hi by the way So the last lecture which I watched today was about the placenta and all the different effects associated with it. I really enjoyed it because it reminded me again of first year MBBS where we studied all of this in embryology. Hello everyone, it's around nine ten. Uh, I did one lecture of obstetrics, and the thing is, it was one hour and fifty minutes long. So I'll consider that as two lectures and call this a day. I've studied a lot, anyways. So that brings me to the end of the video, and thank you so much for watching this. Again, please don't forget there's a link in the description using which you can go to Skillshare and you know watch any class that you want to. The first thousand people will get one month free. Go ahead, join Skillshare. You know, explore the subjects that you want to. Apart from that, if you did enjoy this video, please make sure to hit the like button because it makes my day and it makes me smile. Anyways, it's your Varaj. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.